I hope everybody's doing well. Nobody has COVID or no other illness and that you're enjoying your family. I came all the way to the VA to see my family, but could not because I think I may have COVID and, <coughs> excuse me, and my supervisor tried to, oh, I'm sorry. And it's for like the overflow for the busy season. If there is extra mail, so we help with sorting the mail. My supervisor did walk through and, you know, tell people to cover their nose and mouth fully, their face fully with the mask and no peeping noses, uh, you know, like they're trying to cover their chin and there's no open area there, there unless they got a wound. He tried to enforce it, but and he said to them, if you do not cover your mouth and nose, you will be told to go home. He did not tell them to go home. He kept mentioning, properly wear your mask. Those people should have been home, sent home. And there was a, a period of times when you're working it, when you're working, you're not noticing that it's getting crowded in your area because there are different there are different shifts. So you're getting, it's getting crowded in your area. And I wasn't paying, I didn't notice it till I looked up and like, oh my Lord, there's too many people. So I was like, well, I work on the end. I can't be around these people. Too many people and everybody was not doing it. I saw somebody clear their nose on the floor. I did not see that person leave. Need I say more? To wash hands or nothing. Nothing like that. I didn't see sanitizer. I didn't see him go do that. But he could have been the one spreading it. Things we touch, whatever. I don't know. Just being around us, walking what the way we if anybody did the um sorting of mail and you worked during this time, you would know what I'm talking about. But I believe I contracted it. If I have it, I'm trying to get seen. By being a holiday, things were closed. I felt something like I thought maybe I was getting a sinus infection or something like that. But this, I don't believe, is a sinus infection. I don't have energy, strength to do anything. I just slept. Trying to get myself together so that I can be able to get back home. I live in Georgia. I'm trying to see if I have anything so that I won't bring it back to my husband. My daughter, my two, my oldest son and my youngest son, we all work there. And I found out that my oldest son, he talk, called and told me last night that he has COVID. So... I know when you work, you take a chance, but you need to work so that you can provide. That's what a lot of us have to do. But when you have a facility that does not literally enforce it, and they do have us to fill out a questionnaire before we come to work COVID that day, um, questionnaire, we are told, um, ask questions, and they send it through text, and we... Um, fill it out, send it, and go from there. They give us our shift of when they want us to come in. Now they changed it because they said they don't need as many people because, you know, the holiday, Christmas has passed. So now they just have New Year's and might not be as much um, mail to sort. So we um, have a different schedule. Um, Start with my son, my youngest son. He wasn't feeling well. He said he had a headache, and his headache was like he moved his eyes. His head was just like, you know, it was like a severe headache. I didn't notice anything except the day we were going to work, he had um, 
started sneezing. And then he sounded a little congested. He didn't go, um, we didn't go to work because we had a flat tire. Um, so I came back home. I didn't notice my symptoms until, and I'm not sure if he had it. I'm just thinking maybe he did. We were telling him to go get tested. They, he went to the uh, urgent care and they sent him away. They said, and it was before the hours that they had posted. They sent him, turned him away and said that they were closed. So I traveled up here and I noticed once we got on the road, my nose in the back, it just felt like I was going to have some sinus drainage or something like that. So I was like, okay, let's see. I'm just probably going to be, I usually get like allergy um, reactions, the weather changing and stuff like that. So I thought maybe that was it. I don't know, I guess, what was that, coughing? Um, I had, I had noticed I was tired. I had the chills. So I said, well, I, I had called my sister and I told her, I said, I don't know what's going on with me. I, it's best that, you know, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just trying to get myself together. I've been calling, trying to find out how can I get a test. They saying on the news that it's hard to get it. <coughs> it's hard to get it. And it is because I'm calling and they're saying they don't have nothing for today. I've been trying to call yesterday. I'm calling, trying to get it. Get someone to test for a while. Then now my children saying uh, the two that don't work there, they are feeling symptoms. And their symptoms is their throat was scratchy. Um, they're sneezing. So I'm assuming if I go get tested and I have it, then everybody else got it. So I'm going to go get tested. Hopefully... I'm trying to go to Walgreens. I was trying to um, call up there to the um, ER at, on the base, um, Fort Useless, and Langley Air Force Base. And I see them noticing that they, um, I called, and they said that they don't have testing. So I'm going to try to go to Walgreens and see if I can get tested. Y'all pray for me because I am feeling yucky. I'm feeling nauseated. Not nauseated, it just felt like I don't have, I don't want to eat, but then I'm hungry. So I'm going to go try to get tested. I brushed my teeth several times, my tongue, and it's still nasty. I'm going to try to get me some ginger ale to help settle my stomach because I don't have the appetite to eat, but I'm hungry. I'll try to get back with you, let you know what is going on. But right now, mm, check you later. Well, I just got my test results, and I am positive for COVID. Y'all, please keep my family in your prayers that we all recover. First, it was my son, my youngest son, then my oldest daughter, me, myself, and now my second oldest son and my youngest daughter, are having symptoms please take care of yourself and if you have to speak up for yourself with these jobs do so you're not crazy you're not stupid you're not extra do it nobody should have to feel like this at all and yes i have been vaccinated with the moderna and I caught COVID. Please take care of yourself to the extreme. I wore my mask. I protected myself, washed my hands, tried to stay away from people. And this is ridiculous. For the people that's walking around with no mask on, shame on you. Shame on you. You're the ones that's half mask, nose peeping out, mouth off, covering your beard like your beard got an open area and you're not protecting others. Very sad. Please be safe.